two lottery scammers. Americo Lopes and Jason Curlin, the self-proclaimed lottery lawyer. Americo Lopes, a New Jersey construction worker who was appointed to purchase the weekly lottery tickets for he and his co-workers lottery pool. This crew had worked together for many years, considered each other to be friends, and was present at each other family events. However, when Lopes realized he was holding the group's winning Mega Millions lottery ticket, he decided not to share the news. Lopes collected the money and didn't tell any of the participating members. There was one other winning ticket, so the prize of $77 million was split into two $38.5 million prizes. After the draw, Lopes took time off from work for a foot surgery. Then he went to collect the prize and opt for the lump sum payment of $24 million. He took home over $17.4 million after taxes. Lopes told his boss he would not return to work after his surgery and he filed for unemployment benefits. Lopes then began spending his winnings. He paid off an existing mortgage of over $350,000, upgraded his ride to a $35,000 Chevrolet Colorado truck, and took a trip to his homeland of Portugal. He gifted his family over $250,000. He made an early payment of $5,500 on his income taxes for the following year, and he also made a down payment on his dream mansion of $145,000. The 5,000 square foot estate set on a 5.24 acre property. Although Lope signed the contract, the sale was never finalized. After pretending for months, Lopes could not resist telling one of his former co-workers that he had won the lottery one week after he quit his job. The news of the win traveled to his former lottery pool players and they got suspicious. A quick web search reveals Lopes' betrayal. According to the New Jersey Lottery's website, Americo Lopes had apparently won a $38.5 million jackpot all by himself. As soon as the lottery pool realized that Lopes had claimed their money, they took him to court. The co-workers testified that they had played the lottery together for years and that they had given Lopes the money to buy the lottery tickets the day he won. A six colleague who had not played the lottery on the winning week also testified to the existence of the lottery pool. This last testimony was essential to supporting the construction team's case. Five million dollars of the prize money had gone missing and could not be located. The jury unanimously decided that Lopes had to share the jackpot with his five co-workers. Because he had chosen the lump sum option of $24 million, he owed $4 million before taxes to each player of the lottery pool. Jason Curlin, the self-proclaimed lottery lawyer. A New York attorney known as the lottery lawyer is accused of scamming lottery winners out of millions of dollars. The New York District Attorney's Office indicted Jason Curlin and three alleged accomplices in a $107 million scheme. Why do you need legal, financial, and a certified accountant after coming into a large sum of money? This is one of many questions a New York attorney asks while promoting himself self-proclaimed the lottery lawyer only later to be charged in several crimes accusing him of stealing the same money he was hired to protect the Department of Justice U.S. Attorney's Office Eastern District of New York a federal court in Brooklyn charged attorney Jason Curlin and three co-conspirators with money laundering wire fraud and conspiracy in connection with a scheme to defraud Curlin's clients 
that resulted in a $107 million loss. In addition, Curlin was charged with honest service fraud for his role in the scheme, and two of the defendants are charged with extortion and threatening to kill an individual and his family for failure to repay a usury loan. Seth D. DeCherme, acting U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, and William F. Sweeney Jr., Assistant Director in Charge, Federal Bureau of Investigation, New York Field Office, announced the arrests and charges. As set forth in court filings, Curling, the lottery lawyer, appeared to represent dozens of lottery winners throughout the country with a total winnings of around $3 billion. One of the winners won $1.5 billion, another one won $245 million, and the third one won $150 million. The lottery victims each paid Curlin and his law firm hundreds of thousands of dollars in part so that he could advise them on how to safely invest their money. After gaining their trust with primarily traditional investments, Curlin steered his clients to invest in various entities and business deals controlled and directed by the three co-conspirators and received kickbacks in return. The defendants then used the money from the lottery victims' investments to keep their scheme going and to enrich themselves. A portion of these funds was fundled back to the lottery victims and falsely represented to them as interest payments on their investments and millions of dollars were stolen to support the defendants lavish lifestyles. In an intercepted call cited in court documents, the defendants can be heard discussing their scheme, attempting to cover their tracks and expressing concern about what might happen to them if they were caught by law enforcement. Two of the defendants invested some of the lottery victims money with Gregory Altieri, a jewelry merchant, and then extended him a $250,000 street loan. Conversations recorded during the government's investigation revealed that the two co-conspirators expected to be repaid over $400,000 for the $250,000 loan and the threats they made to the jewelry merchant in their attempts to collect it. They stated that they have a few tactical shotguns with lasers and told him that if he did not fully repay the loan, it's just going to be unbelievable. Basically, they threatened to pop his head off in front of his son, snatch his son's teeth out, and find his wife and do worse things to her. The government has taken steps to recover the funds stolen, including executing warrants to seize 13 bank accounts associated with the defendants, placing liens on three properties that were allegedly purchased and or renovated with the stolen funds. So back to the question at the beginning of the video. Why do you need legal, financial, and a certified accountant expert after coming into a large sum of money? Jason Curlin, the lottery lawyer, has failed to persuade a Brooklyn federal judge to grant his request to be tried separately from his co-defendants. A U.S. District Judge rejected Curlin's request for a separate trial, arguing that he was lied to by his co-defendants. The judge also wasn't convinced that the cell phone was illegally seized, stating that the seizure of the phone was just Curlin was charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, six counts of wire fraud, eight counts of honest service wire fraud, one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering, and one count of money laundering. His co-defendants were also charged with wire fraud, wire fraud conspiracy, money laundering, and money laundering conspiracy. He and his co-defendants have pled not guilty to all counts and are due to be tried in July of 2022. The games people play to get the money they want and how far they will go to get it.